I was a little bit saddened by this. All right, we're going to spend 10 minutes on this because I was a little bit saddened by this. I was a little bit saddened like, by this. Um, I didn't know how to take it when I read it. It actually showed up on my Apple, Apple News, and it was a really, really unfortunate. It was really, really unfortunate because the dude had just got drafted to the Minnesota Vikings. The dude had just got drafted to the Minnesota Vikings. I feel you, Dre. Of course I'm going to keep a level head, but sometimes I got to step out just to step on people. You know what I'm saying? The dude got drafted to the Minnesota Vikings, and he got killed by a drunk driver. Now to the tragic news from the NFL. Minnesota Vikings rookie cornerback Kyrie Jackson was among three people killed early this morning in a multi-car collision in Maryland. Police say an alleged drunk driver appears to have caused the crash. New details coming in tonight and reaction from the NFL. Here's ABC's Morgan Norwood. Tonight, authorities in Maryland believe an alleged drunk driver is behind a horrific three-car crash just outside of Washington, D.C. that killed 24-year-old Viking star rookie Kyrie Jackson and two of his high school teammates. Just after 3 this morning, police say the driver of an Infinity, identified as Corey Klingman, hit two cars, changing lanes while speeding, causing a chain reaction. A Dodge Charger with Jackson and former college football stars Isaiah Hazel and Anthony Lighton Jr. inside, then slamming into several tree stumps. The Minnesota Vikings select Kyrie Jackson. Yeah! Not even three. You know what's so unfortunate about this is that the dude didn't even do anything. Usually we hold people accountable because we like, yo, um, they fumbled the bag. They did this. They did that. Usually, usually we have conversations and we say, man, this person is an idiot. They spent it on a baby mama. They did this. They did that. Literally riding in a car with his friends and a drunk driver killed them going at crazy speed. Some, some people in the chat are saying that it was a woman and that they refusing to say that it was a woman. I don't know about that. Three months ago, the NFL's Minnesota Vikings drafted Jackson in the fourth round, a contender as starting cornerback. Tonight, the team devastated, saying our thoughts are with Kyrie's family, friends, teammates, and coaches, as well as all of the victims of this tragic accident. That's why I don't take this life serious, man. Honestly. Like, I don't sit there and waste too much time on, on spilled milk. I don't go back and forth, and I'm not on no, you know what I'm saying, forever grudges or stuff like that. It's so easy for me to forgive. It's so easy for me to um, walk away. Yes, of course, says word on the street as they was racing. Was he even a driver, though? Y'all said it was a woman? I don't take too much into consideration no more because it's like you don't know, man. Today you could be here. Tomorrow a drunk driver can just come across you and just absolutely take your life. And it look at that. That is that looks insane, bro. And these Dodge Chargers and stuff. A lot of people not. I remember one time um, when I was younger, I had wound up getting a, a Trailblazer SS, and this was way back in the early like 2004, 2005, somewhere around there. And I was uh, before I had got it, I was thinking about getting a GT. What am I? What was I getting? It was a Chevy. Something, I forgot, but it was something crazy fast. And in my mind, I already knew what I was going to be doing with it. In my mind, I already knew what I was going to be doing with it. But it was, it, was, it was a very bad thing, but then I made the decision. I said, nah, man, I can't be doing this. Actually, it had to have been over after 2004. Might have been 2005 because I think that I was married at the time. But a lot of these young guys, they don't need to be in these cars, man. All they're doing is, is, is absolutely putting themselves in the worst position possible. The force of the crash was evident. The toll in human life, a heavy one. Three people were in this Dodge Look Charger. Car. Look at the car. Dog, that is insane. Ain't no coming back from that. We killed around 3.15 this morning on northbound Route 4 near Dower House Road in Upper Marlboro. According to state police, the Charger was struck by a woman driving the Silver Infinity. And she tried oh, so they did say that it was a woman. Look, the Infinity is not even messed up. The Infinity is chill. The Infinity is cool. It's not messed up at all. Y'all said, was she driving a tank? Nope, she was driving an Infinity. Maybe, maybe. 
maybe these Nissans and these Infinities is actually the truth. Because the only thing that's messed up, I see the front, I see the bumper and all of that, but I don't see anything that's messed up on an Infinity. But that other car, it's in half to change lanes while traveling at a high rate of speed. Crazy. The car also struck a Chevy Impala, whose lone occupant, the driver, was not injured. The preliminary investigation shows the Charger the went shoe. off the road. Hey, you see the shoe? Occupant, the driver, was not injured. That's crazy. It's multiple shoes. It's, it's a shoe on, it's a white shoe on the left. It's a black shoe on the right. And then it's another shoe. I don't know what that is. Is that like a Dior or something like that? Up front. That's insane. Socks, shoes, all of that stuff that's thrown about. Half of the car is thrown over on the other side. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Pray for your people, man. It could, it, uh, the preliminary investigation shows the Charger went off the road into several tree stumps and ended up on a service road adjacent to the highway. Crazy. The driver was 23-year-old Isaiah Hazel of Upper Marlboro. 24-year-old Kyrie Jackson of Waldorf was the front seat passenger. He wasn't even driving. So let's just say hypothetically, because we don't know for sure. I haven't heard any news reports that said that they was racing. Let's say hypothetically that they were racing, that the person that was in the Charger, the dude that was driving, and the woman that had the Infinity, because they saying that she was a drunk driver, because she was impaired, right, because she was drunk, he just sitting in the passenger seat. He the one that's the most at risk. The passenger has no protection whatsoever. And so you driving, you riding with your homeboy. Your homeboy is racing somebody in an infinity. And now all of y'all are gone. This is crazy, man. This is insane, man. Both died at the scene. 24-year-old Anthony Litton, a backseat passenger, died later at a hospital. All three were former football players at Wise High School. Kyrie Jackson was a rookie cornerback for the Minnesota Vikings. He always had high expirations. His grandfather, Anthony Jackson, was among the friends and family members of the victims who came to the scene. His grandfather recalls how proud they all were of Kyrie Jackson's achievements. Doing the best that he could possibly do mm -hmm. in, in, in life and with the family. Jackson, Isaiah Hazel, and Anthony Litton were graduates of Henry J. Wise High School in Upper Marlboro, and all three were part of state championship teams. They were still together still hanging out, still doing some things together. Westlake High School football coach DeLon Parrish coached all three of the young men when he was at Henry Wise High School. He also taught all three of them. Isaiah had an infectious, infectious attitude. Um, he was extraordinary. Uh, everybody loved being around him. AJ, phenomenal athlete. You know, he could do anything he want. Kyrie, belief in himself um, was incredible. And he adds, he was inspired by the three young men and they'll continue to inspire others. As police began their investigation into the deadly crash, loved ones of the victims began to deal with the loss. We're gonna to try to, to get through this as best as we possibly can. The driver of the third vehicle that was struck was uninjured. State police say the driver of the Infinity, identified as 23-year-old Corey Klingman, and two passengers in her car were also uninjured. Police say alcohol may have been a factor in the crash. Derek Ward, News 4. Listen, man, I look at that picture and I look at the fact that that mug is split in half and that's a Hellcat. And it's a Hellcat. I can see the Hellcat badge right there. So Connie is saying that they wasn't racing. And I believe her because Connie is usually uh, on top of this. And the Infinity, somehow they saying that alcohol was involved. Nobody got killed. Nobody died except for the people that was the most valuable on the road. Pray for your people. Be very careful about where you go. Sometimes you can't even control the people that surround you. And it could absolutely ruin your life. It could 100% ruin your life and it can upend everybody that's around you that love you. Rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to the family. And that's absolutely horrible. 100% horrible. Let me read it.